So, so far what I have is a sortable table, but the problem is, is that there's no visual feedback that lets you know that uh, these things are sortable or how they're sorted, um, you know, which column is actually dictating the sort order and all that. If we refer to my one example, you'll see that when you click on it here, the table actually, the cell gets darker and we have an arrow saying that it's being either it's sorting ascending or descending same thing and uh, basically I want to get this effect on what I have currently now I wouldn't know how to do this without the help of the table sorter directions because really um, whoever the author of this was uh, Christian Bach over here he's the one who defined how these things are going to be able to be styled by what you know styling hooks he put in so if you go down if you go to tablesorter.com forward slash docs you'll see there's in the configuration section one of the first three items listed are actual how to style the thing in CSS and it's pretty straightforward really just copying and pasting what's already there is just gonna is going to do it already. So let me just show you what's going to happen. I'm going to copy this th dot header sort up, and I'm going to just paste it right into my Dreamweaver, um, or actually into my main dot css. I'll probably put a little note for myself in there that says uh, styles table sorter, and I'll put that th header sort up then th header sort down and the th header now I could tell you right right now what's not gonna work is that this is looking for a background image and a location that it's not there but I'm gonna define this later and actually we're gonna need three different graphic icons for this but let's at least see what this does uh, so far All right. Well, look, it makes it blue. Certainly don't like that of that color, but it works. I mean, it's definitely more than I had before. Now, I could totally change that no problem because if we look over here at our let me refresh my CSS. If we look over here at the stuff we put in, table sort up, table oh, I put table sort up twice as opposed to have table sort down. That's why the other one's not working. All right, there we go. That actually should change, should change what that looks like. Let's see, table sort up, table sort down. All right. See, it puts it in blue no matter which way. Okay. So the first thing, the easiest thing, is just to change the color of those items. So if I look over here, I have that th sort up and says background color. Ah, why don't we make it a a lighter gray? Then table sort down. We can make that a another a little bit darker gray and if I save it let's see how and I'll refresh my browser oh, very subtle actually it's I think it's a little too subtle we'll make that CCC as well there we go that tells me something but I, I actually don't have the icons over there like they had before so what you'll want to start with is making yourself three icons one up one down and one small and if we look at the code that it has table sort up table sort down you see how it, it has this naming convention small underscore asc dot gif and small underscore des or yeah d ESC .gif and small. I'm going to keep those naming conventions, but actually, what I got to do now is I actually have to point. Well, I have to. These paths are incorrect, right? The CSS is looking for this in a folder, one above images. Dot that. Well, I'm going to take all that out, or maybe I'll just uh, actually I'll put assets, and I'm going to create an assets folder. I'll put assets there. And now my path for these things is going to be inside an assets folder. So take a peek at what I did over here. 
So I'm going to tell it to look for the small dot gif in the assets. Again, assets, small underscore, just deselect, and that. Okay, so far so good. Now I have, I already have some icons named that. You notice that over here, you see I have, I created those before, those different icons, small dot gif and all those, and these things coincide to the name the names I put over here so that's pretty straightforward I just need to pop those things into the root of my um, my site root so I'm gonna go here CSS2 and I'm gonna put these in there it's all about links right I mean that's pretty much the web and and working with it you're always link you know making different associations to files and folders and all that uh, let's see what it looks like now. We should have some kind of effect. Now well, that's kind of weird. It didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Actually, oh, duh! I know why. Because I goofed. I I said I'm putting them in an assets folder, and I put them right in the root folder. How can it work? It can't. You know, there's this thing, acronym KISS, keep it simple, stupid. And uh, really what that means is when you're having a problem, you're like prone to look at the most complicated reason why as opposed to the most simple thing. And it's like, there we go. It's like, is my JavaScript wrong? Is this wrong? Is that? No, it's just you didn't put it in the folder. And that's what ended up being wrong. Uh, Okay, now look at this. We have this icon over here, the up and down one. It's kind of big, and if I see this happened to me before, um, a bit frustrating. I couldn't figure out why this icon wasn't really doing changing with the up and down. So basically, what I did is I just took out out of the T header. I'm just going to comment this out. And I'm going to save it. Now let me try to refresh this. I think that's even better. You know, I don't know what it is, just maybe just a, a bug with it or or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it seemed like when I was when I had that other one and I put the I let the graphic for just the TH header work, it would never go to either of the other two graphics over there. So, it's possible that if I start messing around with it, I could kind of uh change it, but you know what? I'm not I don't even really care to have that icon over there. Um, I prefer it without it. Uh, hopefully the user gets what I'm going for over here. But so far, I got some pretty cool uh, styling over here with minimal effort. I just basically created three different icons, which oh, I actually only needed two, the ascending and the descending. I put them in the folder, uh, and then I basically all I did was copy and paste the code from from the uh, table sorter instruction part and that was it that's all it took to get my my uh, uh, table sortable and styled